As soon as you made up your mind to join the top MBA program, the first question that hits in your head is, how much do I need to score in GMAT to get into your top university? It gets followed by, am I eligible to write the GMAT test? And what is the format of GMAT? Although you wish to write the test, somewhere you feel left behind a little bit of information. Don't worry. In this video, we'll give a fair lift of all the essential information about the test. Don't go away. Stay on your toes as we are going to cover everything in no time. Hey there, this is Prashanti from Texas Review, the one-stop solution for all your abroad needs. Let me walk you through every basic information you need about the GMAT test in this video. The GMAT exam is a computer adaptive test which will assess the test taker skills in three sessions. Analytical writing, quantitative reasoning and verbal reasoning. GMAC, the Graduate Management Admission Council, conducts the GMAT test. Mostly, aspirants who want to seek admission into graduate management programs like MBA and a Master in Finance will appear in this test. Since this is a computer adaptive test, candidate is allowed to attempt one question at a time and hence, Depending on the accuracy of the previous answer, the difficulty of the succeeding question will be determined. If we have to speak about the eligibility for taking the GMAT test, although there is no such criteria set by the GMAT, the candidate should meet the criteria set by the universities and colleges. It includes the test claimants must be above 18 years of age. There is no upper age limit, but if your age varies in between 13 to 17 years by any chance, you need to carry a written proof from parents or guardians as they consent to give a GMAT test. Since there is no specific time to register for the GMAT test, you can register at any time of the year. You can go by either online or offline modes to register. As per the surveys, over 2 lakhs of candidates are appearing in this exam every year. The GMAT exam will be conducted in a time span of 3 hours and 30 minutes. As discussed earlier, the GMAT exam has 3 sessions. So, let's take a quick look at their format individually. So, first comes analytical writing assessment. The GMAT question paper begins with this session. Analysis of an argument, the time given to finish half hours. Next comes quantitative session. This falls as the second session in the sequence. It has 37 multiple choice questions. Test takers have to face two types of questions. Data sufficiency, problem solving. The time allotted to solve the session is just 75 minutes. And now, this is certainly the last session. By having 41 multiple choice questions, this session integrates the range of three types of questions. Sentence correction, critical reasoning and reading comprehension. All these questions are alerted within a span of 75 minutes to answer. You can take a break of 10 minutes after every session, which is totally optional. Now, let me give you some good reasons for why you should choose Texas Review for GMAT. This might come to you as a surprise. Now you can avail the customized study plans to suit your timings and your course requirement, so you don't have to worry about adjusting your priorities. Do you have less time left for your GMAT preparation? Well, don't worry. Texas Review offers those study plans where you can finish the course within the time you have got. So, how cool is it? We have also emerged services like immigration, admission processing, scholarships, visa processing at one place in order to make your abroad journey much easier and convenient. So, what are you waiting for? Reach out to our nearest branch and enroll. That's all from me. Subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon for more updates and latest videos from us. Watch out the space for more. Bye.